All right, guys, this is something you really don't see every day, a chain mail security bag. This is from Alex up in Ontario. Inside of here, kind of hard to make out, it looks like there's an American lock. This is full of challenge locks and it's secured by a challenge lock. So we got an American here, won't quite come out of there. And then something wrapped up in a bag. I don't know what the purple st string is for other than just as nice, some nice color. We do have the key and it's attached to the shackle right here. And we have an American, I think it's a 1300, no, 1100 aluminum body lock. This also is a challenge lock. I have no note that came with this. I really don't know what to expect, but we'll give it a shot. It's been around here a while, but my travel schedules had me kind of out of town. But now I get around to finally open this bad boy up. All right, it is a standard, looks like a standard of wide open American core. So a wide tensioner with the long end to get around the inset. And I think, I think I can just hold it like that. And I will try, let's try this guy. I'll take a risk with my rat yoke all the way in, light tension. Okay, that was five. Okay, that was two, got two clicks out of him. Got a fault set, not, not a lot, but let me make sure I don't have them picked already. I don't know if Alex replaced this spring on this thing. There it is, pin three, I'm getting some counter rotation. Got a nice little click, not open. Four, that was like three clicks and I had just barely touched him. So I might have just overset. Okay, that's three again. He's popped back down. Getting counter rotation. Okay, that was five. There's no six in here. I don't know why. I had raked it earlier to see and I was surprised. These are so easy to pin up that sixth pin. Okay, the only binder I have is right up here, pin one, and I'm getting no counter rotation from him, nothing. There it is. Very slight, pin two. One, and no fault set. Two, got a little bit of a fault set. Not open. That was five again. Come on, talk to me. Uh, that's nice, pin four, a very deep fault set, but not open. I think I overset somebody. Nope, it's open. It is open. Tough, tough spring on this guy. All right, well, we got that guy open. We have to gut him here in a second. We do have a key on the shackle, so let's just set him right there for now. Let's see what else we got inside of here, since we got it open. Oh, I see why. This is just a string close to hold it closed, so it's easier to put back together. And it is not an American. It is a cry tonight. Hmm. Pretty creative, <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> All right, we got a key for that one. It is a Schlage keyway, it looks like. Yep. All right, we'll be coming back to that one at some point. And Alex has given us a bag of something.
All right, we have mortar cylinders, two of them. We have a, a Mastercraft. I know they made Mastercraft furniture. Whoa, nice. That ought to be a lot of fun. And uh, a, oh, a Defiant. But I've got a feeling well, the key doesn't work. It's a cool keychain. Oh, bottle opener. Cool. There it is. All right. And we got some weird, more creative naming. <laughs> so, <laughs> come out of there. <laughs> you get the feeling this is a challenge lock, guys? <laughs> Look at that. You almost cut that key in half. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. I'll be getting back to this Alex from Ontario. Again, there was no note, I, but I think I can figure out these are all challenge locks, and I'll get to them just as soon as I can. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Oh, wait a minute. What am I talking about? We got to gut this thing. Let me move that stuff out of the way. Move all that junk out of the way. Get a pinning tray in here. I'm in a hurry to end this thing. You think I had somewhere to go? Okay, let's just pull that dude off of there. I left it picked, and I have a follower right here. I said I did. What do we got going here? Lately, I've been having a lot of trouble with these little cores, and I don't know why. That's not what I want. I almost have to use this guy. He's getting caught. He just doesn't want to go any further than that. There's something snagging him up. All right, tell you what. Let's push him back. If I rotate him around, they're all going to come down inside, but I want to turn him... Tell you what, I do have a key, so let's just take the key and rotate him the other way and see if it still binds. And it does. What in the world's going on? There he goes. Maybe not. All right, let's cut him backwards. I'll keep the pins up. Let me take that tweezers and we're gonna cut him backwards. Okay, we have a little tiny little T-pin here. If I can keep that in focus, just a tiny little guy. Put him right there. Ah, where'd he go? There we go. Again, another one with hardly any spring tension at all. This looks like all six of them were here. I only counted five. And he is hung up. Okay, we got a serrated. So he does go there. There are six. Okay, number four. Serrated spool. Three is a, I think that's a homemade one. It is a tapered but serrated pin like a little pagoda. Number two, serrated. And number one is a spool. All right, before I pull the springs out of there, let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, there indeed there were six of them. I did not feel that last one. The, the spring tension was so light on him, he must have been, let's take a look, yeah, he must have been right near the shear line anyway. I just, I don't know. I only felt five. But there were clearly were six. All right, we have a serrated, 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 
serrated, standard, and a homemade one that you are going to love. Before we do that though, let's take a look here. We have threaded in chambers three and four, and we have undercut in chamber four. And the undercut's very nice, and it's on both sides. All right, let's take a look at that pin, that last one that fell out of there. Chamber six. That's your key pin. And he was matched up with this guy, with the T pin. So just those tiny little tips were touching each other with a really soft spring. All right, let's pull these guys out of here. I don't know if they're all the same, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, we got a little heart on there. All right, so there's one. Okay, those two are the same. All three are the same. Four doesn't want to come out, there he is. He's also the same. Let's flip it over. The one I'm really interested in is six. And there he is, he's different. Very light, hair-like spring in six. And in five, there we go, standard. So that was the only different one, six. So I think it was designed to fool me that there were only five pins in here. Uh, inside of here, it looks like we got threading in chambers three, four, and five. Very nice. Not what you'd expect. There's what your pinning looks like, guys. So we have serrated all in the bottom. That's a homemade serrated, by the way, in chamber two. The only standard pin was in chamber six, or same, sorry, chamber five. Chamber six was that T-pin that I showed you, both top and bottom. On the top, we had a serrated spool, commercial serrated right here, a homemade serrated here. Looks like it's tapered in some way. I don't know if you guys can make that out a serrated spool, and then straight up serrated in chamber five. So pretty tough little lock. Thank you, sir, Alex, all the way from Ontario. Appreciate you sending this in. And I'll get to the rest of these just as soon as I put this to use on one of my favorite beverages. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. Hold on. Before you leave, click that subscribe button. And while you're there, click that notification bell as well. If you'd like to be a sponsor, click there. And for five bucks a month, you get all kinds of benefits. If that's not enough free stuff, hit the Lock Lab. We've got a self-paced lockpicking course with over a dozen modules at the bottom of the page. Join the tribe. Subscribe.